Hello everyone, in this video let us try to understand what is authentication and how do we implement authentication. And once we complete authentication then we will go for authorization. Now authentication is nothing but giving secured access to the resources, resources in the sense to the pages. So home I want to give guest access that means anybody can access it. They need not to be a particular logged in user. So I can say anonymous, anonymous access I can give to home whereas I need to give secured access to all these four links but as of now they are not secured. So view department is nothing but it is going to hit department controller and action index. So I need to secure that. How do I secure? If I want to secure that it is very simple just I need to use a single attribute called as authorize that's it now let me build this execute this now home that's fine whenever I say view department now it is secured now you are not authorized to access it if I go for view employee I should see all the employees now we have secured this page but what kind of authentication are we using have we defined no let's define that in web.config file in system.web I can simply go and say authentication mode equals to forms now once I define authentication type as forms as we know that by default it will be windows if I define it as form now it will ask me to go to login page now home we have anonymous access now whenever I say view department it will redirect me to login page because it has got secured access now you can see that it is asking me to go to login.aspx page so this is the default settings that we have for forms authentication now let us try to change that so what do I need to do I need to add forms then I should go for login URL so I'm going to add a controller called as account so in that I am going to redirect it to login action now view department you can see that now it is taking me to account controller and login action do we have account controller and login action no let's go and create that now in login action we are going to generate a view which says a login page right click and say add a controller I'm going to add an empty controller I'll name it as account now let me change this index to login I'll save this now I'm going to create a view for this login view and this time I'm going to make a create view so that I should get a login page with username and password so I'm going to use tbl user and rest of the things I'll leave as is and say add now you can see that it has generated a create form for me so let me execute this you can see that it has created a create user form so username password and role so I'm using that scaffolding feature I'll remove this role and instead of create I'll rename it as login now whenever I say home I'll be on home page whenever I say view department it should take me to the login page because it has got secured access now let me edit this page first instead of tbl user I'll say login here and I don't want to show these roles column or you can say field 
and here I'll say instead of create I'll say login and whenever I say login it should take me to action login and controller account and form method is nothing but post now I'll go for account controller I'm going to copy this I'll paste it here now this is of type HTTP post so we have seen all these things in our earlier videos and it is going to send me tbl underscore user object which is present in the model auth example dot model save this let me put a breakpoint and execute this and check fine now if I write some values and say login it has brought me to this action and password and username we are able to carry this so that's fine now here I can write my logic so what do I need to do if I want to write my logic that is nothing but I have username and password I'll be passing these values to my entity data model and I'm trying to check whether these values exist if it exists then I'll say this is a correct user or user has logged in successfully if not then I'll say user is not logged in successfully or invalid user so for that I have code ready with me Now you can see that I have organization DB entities. I am creating object of this. Then I am checking for the user, username and password and I am trying to count it. If count equals to zero means what? Invalid user. I am trying to add a message to view bag and I am trying to send the same view back. It is the same login view. Else, I am just trying to, else in the sense that username and password exist. That means it is a valid user then I'm going to say forms authentication dot set auth cookie and forms authentication is available in the namespace system dot web dot security and once it is valid that means if it is valid user and it has logged in successfully I'm trying to send it to home index I'll remove this just I need to display this message if it is invalid I'm going to display it on the same view login view that's it I'll save this and I'll put a breakpoint over here and execute this now I'll say F10 and it has created object then it is trying to count and you can see that the count is zero that means it is invalid user then it stores the message saying invalid user and it will display message on the view saying that invalid user now I'll just go for valid user say Manzoor and the password Manzoor1833 and I'll say F10 now count should be 1 that means this is a valid user now I'm calling forms authentication dot set auto cookie so this is the method which identifies the user saying that this user is authentic user and you can see the username is Manzoor now it is going to set this as an authentic user and this is something which we say remember me so this will be a persistent cookie you can see this it says create persistence so it is going to remember you on the system so if you set false it will not remember you if, if you set true it will be remembering you now I'll say F5 that's fine now if I say view department now I should be able to see this that's really good 
we have achieved authentic access to the page or you can say action now if I want to log out it is very simple I'll simply copy this paste it here and I'll name it as logout and for logout I'll say forms authentication dot sign out and once it signs out it should go to home and let me execute this now if I say view department and I'll log in now I have logged in successfully now I can access view department view employees come back to view departments I'll go to home now if I want to log out I can simply say account slash logout now I have logged out successfully now if I say view department it should show me login page again that's it now instead of typing URLs over here I'll add two links login and logout on the right so I can do that with my shared layout copy this one and two log out log out action account controller login login action account controller I'll save this let me execute now I'm on home page view department I'll just try to log in here so now I have logged in successfully I can go for view department again now if I say log out again if I go to view department it throws a login page for me so I can directly access login page over here 